Now I know we just passed Halloween and we're on our way to Christmas, but over here at Top 5 Scary Videos, every day is a spooky day. And saying that, there is always time for spooky TV episodes. When people think horror TV, they probably think The Walking Dead, Lost Tales from the Crypt, maybe even the relatively recent The Haunting of Hill House. But the truth is, horror has been an incredibly important part of TV for years, and is a hugely important genre which is remarkably diverse. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top Top 5 scariest episodes from horror TV series. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And um, with that, let's jump in. Coming in at number 5, Masters of Horror, Cigarette Burns. Directed by the legendary John Carpenter, this season 1 episode 8 follows rare films dealer Kirby Sweetman, played by Norman Reedus, who is terribly in debt to his dead wife's father and has less than a month to produce $200,000 to save his small theatre. So, what goes down. An old cinephile hires him to find the sole print of a rare 30 year old film titled The Absolute End of the World, which supposedly sparked a homicidal riot during its premiere, after which time it was destroyed. Now here's where things get spooky. We learn early on that a man is chained up in the home of the cinephile, and that his existence is supposedly bound to that of the film, making the stakes that much higher for Norman Reedus. Now this may very well be a bold claim, but it's true. Cigarette Burns is perhaps one of John Carpenter's best directorial works, with the episode being an atmospheric return to form. Steve Barton of Dread Central even rated it 5 out of 5, calling it Vintage Carpenter, and I quote, gory, disturbing, and at times beautiful to look at. The episode as a whole is visually terrifying, but fun and exciting all at the same time. And despite the episode's flaws, the entire episode makes for an unsettling and atmospheric viewing. Plus, Norman Reedus. In at number 4, The Haunting of Hill House, The Bent Neck Lady. Season 1, Episode 5 of Haunting of Hill House is perhaps one of the scariest episodes of any TV show I've ever watched. It still sends chills down my spine and that says a lot. The entire series is directed by Mike Flanagan but it is in this episode that he goes above and beyond. In the episode titled Bent Neck Lady, a dark spectre with an unsettling silhouette has haunted Nell since she was a young girl. Now the Bent Neck Lady is back and she is calling Nell home. What a description. Absolutely chilling. Now the episode was well crafted and truly heartbreaking. King, and revealed a huge twist in the series that would in turn affect every single character. Now, spoilers ahead for those who have never watched the show. It is revealed that Nell was the bent neck lady all along, with it being revealed that she died after being lured back to the home and accidentally hanging herself. Now, there is a meaning behind the bent neck lady. Nell turning out to be her speaks to the different ways that trauma follows and haunts us. We are not just fearful of the bad things we experience in life, but also the physical, emotional, and psychological toll that these bad things have on us. The episode is terrifying in the sense that we know Nell is about to meet her end, but it's the way it happens that scares us most. The house she once grew up in lures her back, and the spirit of her own mother pushes her from the stairs. We feel betrayed, but not just that, we feel broken for a character that was just as broken and needed simply love and support. So sad. As you can tell, I care very deeply about this show. <laughs> in at number 3, Twin Peaks Lonely Souls. This episode will forever haunt me, simply because of the death of one particular character. Maddie, my favourite character. I'm still not over it, I will never be over it. It was horrific. Now any Twin Peaks fan will know that Lonely Souls was the most important episode in the entire series because it finally revealed to us who killed Laura Palmer. Now of course there were plenty of episodes to choose from that were equally as terrifying, aka literally anything involving Bob, but considering the sheer importance and magnitude of the episode, I just had to pick this one. In the episode we see Leland Palmer flipping back and forth between himself and Bob as he chases Maddie around the home, a place that is supposed to be safe, a place of sanctuary, but it feels cold and scary in this particular scene. Bob slash Leland chases Maddie around the home with unsettling music and imagery before she is ultimately killed, and her death is awful. Quite honestly, it was like nothing we've ever seen before on television, and I don't believe anything will ever rival the sheer sadness, horror, and discomfort of the entire scene and episode. <laughs> in at number two, Black Mirror Playtest. In this season three episode of Black Mirror, we are told the story of Cooper, played by Wyatt Russell, an American stuck in London during his travels around the world, who accepts a one-time job offer from a video company, Sato Jimu, to be able to afford his return to America. Now, although there are genuinely better to episodes of the show, there are none that are as flat out horrifying as this one. The episode references games such as Bioshock and Resident Evil, as we watch Cooper literally enter a survival horror video game experience. At 
first, like all would, he presumes he can stay emotionally detached from the horrors around him. It is just a game after all. However, he soon realizes that the experience is far more than virtual. It is reality. Now, the episode is directed by Dan Trachenberg, who directed 10 Cloverfield Lane, and is perhaps the most adrenaline pumping episode of TV I've ever seen. Believe me, you need to watch it. And while you're doing that, binge the entire show. You'll not be disappointed. And finally, coming in at number one, The Twilight Zone After Hours. Now, I know a lot of people who have a genuine fear of mannequins. Jack's one of them. I don't find them that terrifying. However, when I first watched After Hours, I'd be lying if I said I didn't cover my eyes a couple of times. The After Hours is episode 34 of the anthology series of The Twilight Zone, which aired all the way back in 1960. In the episode, we follow a woman who was treated badly by some odd salespeople on an otherwise empty department store floor. Now, what makes this episode interesting is that it is one of just five to include an eye, not a spiral, at the introduction, with the opening narration stating, I quote, Express elevator to the ninth floor of a department store, carrying Miss Marsha White on a most prosaic, ordinary, run-of-the-mill errand. Miss Marsha White on the ninth floor specialties department looking for a gold thimble. The odds are that she'll find it, but there are even better odds that she'll find something else, because this isn't just a department store. This happens to be the Twilight Zone. Chills. Now, of course, the mannequins come into play, but part of me doesn't want to ruin that for you, considering the sheer importance of them. However, the overall theme of the episode regards who the people we see every day really are. A subtle idea of inanimate objects having some kind of sentience that we are just not aware of. An extremely prevalent belief that folks have right now. Not just that, but perhaps we as viewers are also mannequins or other such humanoid objects and we merely don't remember the truth. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Were there any scary TV episodes that we missed? Leave us your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top 5 scary horror movie twists you didn't see coming. Jackie Chavez said, Dear Lucy, blood is red, eyes are so blue, I would like to go to the movies with you. Well, how can I say no to that? You're on. Let's go. Rugged Walnut said, Oh mighty queen of darkness, Lucy, how many marriage proposals do you get in a week? Well, let's just say I will be sending out a lot of wedding invitations. Chris, you coming to my weddings? Thank you. Trauman1965 said, Lucy may have a dark soul, but I bet it smells like cinnamon rolls. <laughs> I can confirm it does. Yes. Skidmark, great name, said, This is spoiler free, right? Huh. I see what you did there. Nope, nope, definitely not. I love to ruin everything for everyone. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, see you later. I'm no mannequin. I'm devil. <laughs> Jack's mannequin. <laughs>